A couple of days ago, Google announced a whole bunch of new products which were designed completely by Google themselves, which included a new Chromecast, a new Wi-Fi router, a new VR headset, and a new smartphone, and it was not a Nexus. The Nexus lineup was dead and was replaced by the new Google Pixel. And we had these reports since August that Google would be discontinuing the Nexus lineup and it came as a shock for everyone. But the question lies that why did Google actually do this? Why should someone discontinue a brand with such an immense reputation in the six years of its existence? So let's go ahead and break it down. Hey, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and you are watching Tech Thesis. Stay tuned. Alright, so before jumping in, let's examine the purpose and the idea behind the whole Nexus lineup. The Nexus was a program in which Google partnered up with various manufacturers to build a smartphone with the latest version of Android. Keep in mind that Google didn't have much of the creative inputs on how these phones would turn out. Nexuses were built to create a sort of a basic standard as to what Android smartphones should be like. And along with it, they were designed to be a working model of the latest versions of Android. It was mainly targeted towards developers who would use it as their development devices to ensure maximum compatibility of their apps as soon as possible. And it all started with the Nexus 1 in 2010 and was followed by the Nexus S, the Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 4, the Nexus 5, the Nexus 6 and lastly the Nexus 5X and the 6P announced last year. So just let's go ahead and point down the characteristics of a typical Nexus device. And the last 5 reasons were the real weak points of all Nexus devices. As a result, Nexus weren't bought by the general public at all because they thought the software was too bland and boring or the Samsung device had a better camera or they didn't know whose product Nexus is or they didn't know about Nexus at all. Nexus devices always created a confusion as to who made the device and when it came to marketing Google didn't spend a whole lot in it which helped in reducing the price down obviously but it also resulted in the slow publicity of the phone in fact the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 6 weren't announced at any special event it was all through a random blog post along with the special announcement of Android KitKat and Lollipop respectively and that is why Nexus were bought by those who didn't care for anything except for a theme and authentic software Android experience or it was for developers as I mentioned earlier. But the thing is that the percentage of this target audience is really really small and you just can't have a smartphone which is not really popular among the general public. And to boil it down, a Nexus at its core was never meant to be a product an end consumer would enjoy. It was just a standard for other phones to follow. But as the product evolved, it tried to move towards the consumer side and the last Nexus devices, the 5X and the 6P, tried to keep the Nexus characteristics but with a more consumer friendly approach. With stuff like the fingerprint reader, best in class cameras and a good amount of marketing. And that was the first step of Google taking smartphones into the consumer field. And now in 2016, Google has decided to start the whole smartphone game from scratch by eliminating dependent manufacturer support and designing the whole smartphone by themselves just like Apple does with its iPhones. And what they did was they basically took all the characteristics of the typical Nexus device, fixed a couple of them and just made a nearly perfect premium Android smartphone for consumers a direct iPhone competitor. So this is Pixel, a new smartphone strategy from Google because they realized the Nexus wouldn't be able to achieve their end goal which is developing and evolving their AI. If Pixel is a phone for consumers, it will be bought by them, giving it a really high ownership which gives the Google Assistant a large and a diverse user base and large user base equals to a large opportunity to improve and evolve the Google Assistant and using that machine learning backend to other products. That is their main goal. 
Earlier their goal was to develop Android into a mature mobile operating system which could be used on other form factors and now it's not their goal anymore. Google is now focusing on a new goal for which it needs new methods to achieve. And that is why Google killed the Nexus lineup. As disheartening as it might sound, the Nexus is gone forever and it's gone for good. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.